Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. It feels like spring out here. It feels like summer, actually. It's amazing. All right, not summer. I'm wearing a hoodie. <laughs> it is amazing, though. I could get a tan today. This never happens at the first of March. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we're starting to be like other areas in the U.S. Lots of people get spring, like a really nice warm spring, by March. We never do. So that is how I get poop on my water bucket. I love almost everything about spring. The only thing that I don't like is that I'm so excited to get cleaning up. I want to clean the chicken coops. I want to clean the yard. I want to get my garden started. I want to do so many projects and there are a lot of them. And put an ad up for someone to come and get our poop pile. And already somebody's been here so they're hacking away at it. We have lots of areas that are getting smaller. And the barn door is open. Horses have their blankets off today. Super fun. Another thing that I don't love about spring when you live on a farm is that you would think that the animals would be like, oh, it just feels so good out here. I love it. But they're not, they're antsy. They all wanna get out on the grass and they wanna start eating grass. They don't wanna just be locked up in their winter pen. And while our horses can go over onto the grass, there really is no grass for them. But th this super nice weather just gives them spring fever and makes them want to, and reminds them about the upcoming grass season. <laughs> they get so excited. When Sylvia and I are out doing stuff with the goats, or we're down in one of the fields doing something, the horses are all at the fence saying like, let me out. So I hate that for them, but I love the heat and I love that they don't have to wear blankets. And Ellie is loving the spring. <laughs> Our farrier comes this week, so I just want to make sure that I can get all this stuff cleaned up because in the winter, our tack room always becomes a big, huge mess. It's always, um, people just throw stuff because it's so cold, you don't want to be out here too long. for me about winter, about spring, is that so many things don't get done in winter because it's too cold. For example, Sam doesn't ever sweep this barn, ever, not one single time in winter, which is fine, that's his way. Um, but when you have to sweep it up in the spring, <laughs> it makes it a bigger job. Same can be said about how we take care of our chickens and our goats in the winter. We deep bed them and it is a nightmare in the spring. It makes things so much easier in winter. You just put new bedding on top of old bedding every week or every few days and then you clean it all out in the spring and the reason that we do that is because in a cold climate that dirty stuff that's underneath heats up so that it helps to keep our animals our chickens and our goats warm spring is going to be a nightmare though so that's why it is only the march the third and i am preparing i am getting ready i am starting now to get everything done oh baby she's like yeah i didn't have a, a blanket on all winter but now i have a blanket on when it's when it's hot she's gonna be hot yeah she likes her big butt scratched uh oh look out ellie run ellie ellie oh god don't just stand there she might not have horns but she can still fling you Uh-oh, hey, stop, Ellie, come here. Ellie, come. <laughs> hey, get away from her. 
last year Ellie was so crazy she just ran and ran and ran somehow over the course of the winter she forgot that horses can be dangerous and she needs to run from them get out of here go 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 run don't you remember oh Sam's on the other side of that fence with the poop guy getting rid of more poop go Ellie oh my gosh she's like what's happening she looks happy look at how relaxed you look you enjoying your round bale? Storm's like, no, nothing makes her happy. <laughs> you gonna let him talk about you like that, Finn? Yeah? Oh, she's loving this. Yeah, feels so good. You wanna go for a ride? I definitely wanna ride again. And one thing I wanna do this spring is I wanna learn to ride myself. I wanna learn to just go off on my own down the trail because Penny's really comfortable and confident on that trail. I don't know how she'll be without any other horses. I feel like she could handle it. There's a lot of hair coming off my horse. You're back? <laughs> Why are you back? Come on, I can't carry you. We're gonna have to go. I really wanted to give my girl a brush though. Get all this itchy hair off, huh? Yeah, yeah, you like that. You too, Stormy Night. I love you too. Even with all the dirt and the mud. See, that's the difference between horses and goats. Goats do not get dirty. They would never get dirty. Okay, what is happening over here? Why, why? This is not necessary. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Hey, you stop it, stop. Oh my goodness, from one baby to another. Two babies. I think she really wants to play with Ellie. <laughs> she just followed me in here. You know it's hot when the black horses are standing in the shade. Storm, is he standing on the step of the barn? Yeah. No? There's a hole. Oh. Anyway, it's literally been one day of summer, like weather, and there's already bugs. <laughs> so yeah, I can't believe it. What? Look at Rocky laying down. I never see him laying down and being lazy. I actually really like Rocky. I think he's way cuter than Winston. No, he's not. Even though Winston is a baby and he has blue eyes. I just think Rocky's really cute. I just don't see him going anywhere. So today, Sylvia and I decided, oh, these guys are making out over here. So today, Sylvia and I decided that we're gonna measure our goats. We, for our record, Sylvia and I decided to measure our pregnant does. Sophie brought this big tire over. Sophie and Sam brought this big tire over this morning for little baby Winston, and he loves it. He just runs around it. Well, there's tons of straw here. Put it in there if you want to. Okay, bring the goats over. Let's get weighing. Let's get measuring. Can we measure Winston first? Sure, bring Winston over. I don't know why we have to measure Winston. <laughs> the goats saw the tape measure, and then they're all gone. They're all gone into the next field. Let's measure his neck, sweetie. Okay. Let's collar to get him. Let's see. Okay, so Winston Wait, wait, is... wait, wait, wait. Don't leave. Hold yeah, on. we need a collar for him. Winston is 19 inches. Don't put it too tight. Like 20 nine. inches. He's a 20 inch baby. Uh, I don't think that's it. But I, I think, think that's it. And um, his mom is like, get that tape measure off my baby Hi, right now. You are my baby. <laughs> oh, he's peeing. I'm right close to your foot. So, baby uh, mama goats often get frustrated with their babies by the time they're two or three weeks old because they can be super annoying. But Mocha, no, Blossom, Blossom has literally been so in love with this boy and taken the best care of him. All right. She comes like from such a good line. Like her mom was such a good mom and she's such a good mom. And he pees for like an hour. <laughs> He's still peeing. <laughs> Literally, he always does this. He pees for so long. Still peeing. <laughs> Still peeing. Oh, no, he's done. Oh, we're going to measure our non-pregnant goat first. He is pregnant, Mom. <laughs> our boy. I don't boy. know what you're talking about. And just wait, right around the belly. Okay, pull it a little bit tighter. All right. And he is 35 inches. And he's not very fat, actually. If you push in on all that hair... He's just a regular sized goat underneath she's all that. He's like got a bit of a belly. Ah, they're running and they're pregnant. <laughs> Don't. Last night, this beautiful girl actually let me check her ligaments. She's not too happy about it. Oh, back a little. Back a little? Yeah. 
So. 46. 46. <laughs> 46. Oh, look at She's leaning right into me. What a sweet baby. Feel her ligaments. Feel her ligaments. Feel her her ligaments are really hard to feel. But last night I thought for sure she was going into labor because she let me feel her ligaments. I don't feel anything. Let me see. Like her ligaments. I got them. They're there. Get them off. And no popped you and no popped udder. Oh, it's getting bigger. So because her udder hasn't popped, it's not likely that we're gonna have babies until Wednesday, at least at the earliest Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. So the reason that we want to measure our goats is because if she's at 46 this year and say she has twins, then next year when we measure her at the end of her pregnancy and she's like at 57, then we're like, oh, she's having triplets. Or if she's at 46 again, then we'll probably have a good idea that she's having twins. Sophie's just been wrestling with the boy. <laughs> so in order to tell a goat that you're the boss yeah. of it, you flip it. Of me. Yeah, you you flip it. So she just gently pushed him over, held him down yeah, for a few minutes, like I do with the rooster, and basically said, "Like I'm the boss yeah. of you." So now I'm just sitting here measuring. I'm just sitting here. I'm the one that holds them. So if he's the one that catches them, could you imagine with like six or seven babies running around here? It would be insane. <laughs> he's the only one that doesn't understand grain. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Leave her alone. Sophie threw grain in there so that all the goats would go in there and she could catch the other one. No, we, we can't catch Tilly. <laughs> We'll have to measure her tonight. So Sophie is so upset about her goat because he traumatizing Lola. He is in love with Lola. I'm sure he's doing it for dominance, Sophie. He, he <laughs> about that. Did you guys see that look? Yeah, I'm sure he's doing it for dominance because he's the low man he on the breathe very well when he does that. So anyways, he chases Lola and tries to jump on her over and over and over and he runs for so long that when Sophie picks him up he's like gasping for breath. I'm chasing them around too because I'm trying to grab him. <laughs> and, yeah she's not the kind of mom that wants a baby that humps things. He's still staying. <laughs> once his balls are gone he'll be fine. Every time I say something negative about him she says once those things are gone he'll be fine. I promise he'll be fine. He'll be. But didn't you just have problems with Rocky? Fine, this one won't be like that. It'll be worse. Yeah, he probably will be worse. I need to give Lola a break with this. Sophie wants to just sit down here and hold this goat so that he can't run and chase Lola because Lola needs a That's break. That's all he ever does. That's all he does. There's Lola in the tire. <laughs> if any, if all the other goats aren't chasing him, the baby is chasing. If Look how wide that is. Look how wide that is too. I know. She's so big. Poor Lola, everybody chases her. Ah! <laughs> There's a bug! <laughs> Sophie did a ninja move! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't! You're not in it! That's Alright, we're done! We can only hang out with the goats for a few minutes at a time, man. It is awful. All I know is that 46 inches is a lot for a goat. So you better be having triplets. And you better give me one of them. Twins is fine. <laughs> We're having a rough day. Trying to catch goats is enough to, to like make you mental. Alright, I don't know if you can see it, but we got the horses standing at the gate, and then down there, we have every goat standing along the fence line. Tell me you're late for dinner without telling me you're late for dinner. Those are the goats. They all stand there and they watch the house. Hi, Stormy boy! So little Winston's in his bed. 
<laughs> Isn't he so cute? He is a little devil, but he's adorable. You hold. Okay. It actually I holds. got her. I got her. All right. First of all. Whoa. You don't got her. I have her. No, you don't. Oh. Okay, let me put this. Just wait. Let me put this camera down. Tilly, just be kind. Whoa. Whoa, it's okay. Listen. It's okay. We're just helping. Come here. Whoa, I'm going to fall. Don't let go. Ow. All right, flip it. Okay, good. Around her belly. You got it around her waist. Up over here. Well, you have to give it to me. 48. That was wild. She's 48 inches, you guys. That is really fat. <laughs> She's got three babies in there for sure. Like, there's so many old wives' tales, but that are kind of accurate. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, so Mocha has a small udder, but she's Bally big. Out. So I'm pretty sure she's having twins. I'm pretty sure, like, I swear she's having twins. And she has a small udder. She had twins last time and she had a huge udder. And usually that will mean that small udder means girls. Get to film if them. she even has just one buck inside of her, a buckling, she should have like a giant udder. Small udder, two girls, guys. Oh, they're all tucked in for bedtime. They look so soft and squishy, like so, they look so cuddly. They're adorable. So Mocha, I only bred her on the first day of her heat. So that should give us two girls. And her udder says that she doesn't have any bucklings in there. So we're just gonna see if that actually comes true. And then oh, Tilly, like we bred on the first day of her heat, but then I didn't, but then I didn't see if she got bred. So then I just left the buck with her, That's which would mean she'd probably have like two girls and a boy or two boys and a girl or one girl and two boys. So who knows? We're gonna see if these old wives tales come true for us. She didn't get to breed Blossom. She crawled under the fence. She was the only one small enough to get underneath the fence. And she got pregnant on her own and we kept them apart. So it took her a few days. So she got, she was with the buck like on the last day of her heat, which is why we got a boy. Storm is very mad. <laughs> Still watching the house. Storm, Storm is looking for you. <laughs> I know. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just